That's right, guys. In this spicy video, we're going to be doing a transformation build in hardcore Minecraft. I've always wanted to do something in the end before, and we're finally going to do it today. We are going to be building a giant fish tank in the end for all my blue axolotls I'm going to be having throughout this entire series. This took an insane amount of time. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe because they're like I do insanely big builds and insane videos like this all the time. So you guys don't want to miss them. All right. And welcome back on the hardcore world, guys. Today, uh, we're starting it off at the Oxalotl farm that I built in the last video. I did. I made this so that it was like strategic and I knew which Oxalotl I was getting because we were trying to farm for a blue Oxalotl specifically. We wanted a blue one. And that's exactly Aww. what we got. A little baby blue boy. Look at that. Look. Mm. He's so cute. Either way, we actually did get pretty lucky. We got it kind of early on, actually. Uh, I only managed to fill up basically half of the the farm that i've built so far i mean this could go on forever i could have literally have built it all the way over there to the spruce forest but it worked out beautifully and i loved it and this is also thousands of blocks away from home and i need to fly home i just wanted an introduction over here and i'm gonna regret it well while flying home actually gives me a great opportunity to tell you guys uh what we're gonna be doing exactly is i want to try to breed my oxalotls i need another blue oxalotl because when you have a blue one and a random colored one it's a 50 50 chance that it'll be a blue one after breeding however if you have two blue ones you get non-stop blue axolotls just non-stop you get a, you get as many as you want it's cake so the goal is i'm going to try to get another axolotl while i'm also going to be building a giant fish tank in the end i'm, I'm going to turn my end island into a giant fish tank basically for my axolotls i think it's going to look pretty epic i if, if what i'm envisioning right now comes to uh fruition it's gonna be sick but we'll see how it goes we'll see also i'm in, i'm also in the last video i asked you guys to comment down below uh, a name for our new blue axolotl however i am filming this on uh, pretty much immediately after i got my blue axolotl because i was i was pretty excited about it I'm, I'm down to do some more some more stuff some more buildings some more craftings things such as that oh hey a bamboo farm i totally forgot i built this thing i built this thing a little ways away from home because i didn't want to deal with more lag and more farms i completely forgot about this good to know this is here all right now that we're home you know, one thing I haven't done is actually checked all my farmers. I haven't done that in like ages. It's been a hot minute. But before we do anything, we got to pay our respects to stupid. There you go, stupid. Eat up. Yeah, because I have a sugarcane farm here and I completely forgot about it. Completely. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's about what I thought it would look like. Um, Hold on. Let me get my inventory situated. And we're going to we're going to empty some of these out. Some of these farms. It's been a hot minute, man. We could get dummy rich off of this. OK, so let's quickly go get a shulker box full of sugarcane and we'll turn it all into paper and then we'll take that paper and then we'll go sell it all but to make a whole lot of emeraldies okay let's go down here real quick let's grab as much as we can all right and then we go back up with all of our sugar cane come over here we turn it all into paper well it's gonna turn into more paper than there was sugar cane isn't it is that how that works okay yeah this this turned into a big mistake actually i'm realizing this now hold on we gotta <laughs> i need to sell the paper as i'm making it because... all right relax dude oh, you can't reach that oh i'm too scared to get near you i'm not gonna lie um <laughs> so quickly i'm actually gonna take all the sugar cane over to our giant trading post because in a recent video we turned a ocean monument into a trading post because why not <laughs> oh yeah look at that ocean monument oh yeah i haven't really like leveled any of my villagers here at all i haven't done any trading since coming here this place just put a bad taste in my mouth as beautiful as it is i spent way too much time here now i should be zombifying these guys first but honestly i'm just gonna try to get rid of as as much of this as I can right now. Okay, so off one shulker box of sugar cane, I get about a stack and a half of emeralds, which I got probably like five shulker boxes full, uh, just waiting for me inside the chest over there. I'm gonna zombify some of these guys. And then next time we come back, we'll be able to purify them and then get some mad discounts. I'm not too worried about getting a discount right now. I just need to clear out some of the, the you know, the farm because it's getting a little too chaotic over there. But up next on the agenda though, is I'm gonna need a lot of sand, a ridiculous amount of sand. We started clearing out this area and I do think, I mean, it's a little too close to home. I'm not going to lie. It's, it looks so ugly already. This is pretty much just where I've been scooping sand the entire time. Getting glass. Oh, it, just, it looks bad. It don't look good. It's a little close to home. So I think I'm going to start scooping a little bit of sand uh, maybe a little bit further. You know, like uh, like somewhere over here. And then we'll just completely gut this entire area of all the sand that it has. Ow, oh, cactus. Put my bump into it. A lot, a lot of sand. All 
All right, and we've completely leveled out. Like this, this was a, basically a mountain right here, and it's all just flattened down to sandstone now. I've already gotten two shulker boxes all the way home, and then I grabbed another shulker box, and so now I'm bringing three more home. My shovel's hurting a little bit, so we'll see how this goes. Either way, I think we have enough sand to finally move on to the next section because now all I really, ah, uh, all I really got to do is smelt down all the sand into glass in the auto smelter of course because i'm way too lazy to individually drop every single one of them so we're just gonna continuously drop it in here aren't you cooking oh this is a smoker oh i'm mad at myself i just i just dumped a bunch of sand into a smoker thinking that was cooking the whole time uh I'm a little disappointed in myself i'm not gonna lie um moving on and so while all that cooks here let me get the other shulker boxes and leave them in here here you know what i guess i could use the floor as well the floor is a great place to cook up a lot of sand oh look at that i already got some glass primed and ready in one of them i mean i do have some leftover glass but not very much next on the agenda is we need to get another blue axolotl and to be able to do that we're gonna have to breed goldfish if you guys don't know who goldfish is he's literally the the best best axolotl on the market well not really on the market he's mine keep your eyes off goldfish i just realized we gotta put a name tag on the uh the blue axolotl in the meantime temporary name okay just temporary while we wait for the the comments to come through on the video that's not released yet we're just gonna name him lapis le fishy there we go lapis lazuli le fishy it's all the same it says blue put our little boy in the hole okay then we got a name tag how do i there we go scoop him up and then i remembered that i need a uh, tropical fish which is something i do not have here right now and now we're back all the way the axolotl farm because this is like the closest warm ocean that i even know of i don't really need to be systematical with growing uh my baby blue axolotl i'll just put it in there with goldfish for now I'm gonna get some fishies real quick the only downside to this is like i was planning on just scooping up a bunch of fish so i brought a ton of buckets but if like i do run out of fish and i do need to keep breeding them because it is only 50 50 and like you know my my luck is terrible so it might actually be worthwhile just to grow little lapis le fishy for now over here get the fish and try to get two blue axolotls before i go home here we go we got some targets scoop and scoop and now i don't know if this is true or not people have always said that if you feed the baby versions of the animals that they will grow faster i don't know if that's true but all i gotta say is lapis le fishy is gonna grow up to be a strong axolotl all right it's gonna be the absolute alpha of the group goldfish step aside <laughs> oh snap my boy's grown up okay so maybe it does i you know i don't know first attempt at the breeding with goldfishy and lapis le fishy there's a 50 50 chance here that we get a blue axolotl come on baby all right goldfish your genes are strong we're just gonna go ahead and separate you from your child though now i gotta wait like five minutes to be able to breathe them again <laughs> Time number two. It's been a little while. You guys ready for dinner, huh? Are uh, you guys ready for some supper? As long as you give me another blue axolotl. Oh my god, am I gonna cry right now? Did they change the odds or or why? What's happening here? Yeah, that's fine. We got more fish. It's okay. Am I gonna waste a ton of time? Maybe this time I do a little bit of research while waiting, huh? Here we go. Before <laughs> I I completely start crying. Oh, why are you standing up on two legs? Relax here, guy. It's better work this time. Don't do this to me. Just give me it. I don't believe anyone that says it's 50 ooh, that says it's 50 50 i just don't what if it's goldfish you know what it must be goldfish we're gonna bring in someone else a palish one that doesn't really have much of a color maybe lapis le fishy will be able to put a little color into that uh equation there i just need one more blue one that's all i want and i got 100 percent guaranteed infinite amount of blue axolotls <sighs> here we go you got this you got this just give me a blue axolotl baby little blue 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 blue, blue baby little blue <sighs> I just want a child. Just make sure it's blue. Give me a blue axolotl. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm pretty much giving up on you. All I need is one. <sighs> What happened? Literally out of boredom. I'm just gonna, gonna let go all these other axolotls because why not? They're gonna just be a menace to society. Ruin the, oh, yep. Oh no, that's a bad idea because then I need tropical fish and they're gonna be out here just killing everything. No. I'm giving up all hope. It's never gonna happen. <gasps> oh my God. 
50 50 my butt dude there's no shot at that was 50 50 bro that i did it that many times and it was 50 50 i i don't i refuse i refuse to believe that but now we have two blue oxalotls we got this little man's which i'm gonna feed him since oh that's a sword <laughs> because i'm pretty sure it does help them grow faster i don't know comment down below does feeding an animal when they're in their like infant state help them grow faster i don't know but because the fact that i do have two blue axolotls now i finally have a hundred percent time hundred percent chance of getting another blue and so anytime that i breathe them now they they will be blue and if they're not well i'm gonna have to have a conversation with mojang because that's a problem <laughs> all right now that our little axolotls all grown up here oh oh hold on oh oh <clears throat> All right, we're just gonna ignore that one. Uh, here, guys, it's time to eat up. Wait, I can't. Oh my gosh, I fed you not that long ago, so you can't even eat. <laughs> but now, at least I do get a hundred percent chance of getting an axolotl, a blue one. There we go. Finally, infinite blue axolotls. Now we can finally go home. All right, and next on the agenda is we will grab all of our glass that we have and so far a lot of it has cooked up however we still have you know two full shulker boxes a half a shulker box and a double chest full of sand waiting to get cooked up and unfortunately the auto smelter it's taking uh, quite some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of fern eyes that I can have cooking inside the end while I'm transforming it while I'm also building like, you know, the, the entire thing. And hopefully this will still be going because I think it's close enough to the nether portal chunk. So let's head over to the end portal real fast. One in which we've uh, recently transformed and I think it looks rather scrumptious. Look at this thing. Mm, it's beautiful. Either way, let's jump in. I wanted the fish tank to be big enough it won't be completely destroyed if I ever resurrect a dragon. But at the same time, now imagine a donut. Okay, a good old American circular donut with a hole in the middle. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking about completely doing a giant ring around this entire thing. So here, let's uh, set up some furnaces real quick. Oh, that looks perfect, actually. What the heck? Toss some of these into each of these. And then we just got to fill them all up with sand so that they'll just be smelting down in the meantime while we're working on this entire thing. And then with all of our glass, oh, well, yeah, I still have a bunch of shulker boxes full of sand. And then with our glass, like I said, I kind of like, I want to build like a donut and I want it to be far enough away from the pillars to where it's not going to necessarily be affected by the dragon when I resurrect it ever. So I'm thinking about, wow, this is going to be a, an insane amount of glass. Really realizing it now, huh? Also, I need to make sure I have my silver touch pick because i'm gonna need to save every single piece of glass that i can it's not gonna be a perfect circle and i kind of like that honestly can you move sir excuse me um i'm just kind of working here or i did just realize that when i come through the end portal i need to have like like a doorway right like an archway i guess that could be kind of cool too if i have like an area in which i gotta run through be like a big archway right here since the hole is literally yeah right there you also gotta remember that if i'm gonna be doing it like this can you guys move please oh my oh my god dude why are are you hitting so hard right now oh my god and then i'm probably gonna have to deal with a whole lot of this though while i'm uh, out here fighting Enderman non-stop yeah something kind of like that and then i could be able to kind of bridge it out a little bit more but either way i want this thing to also be tall so this, this is a very ambitious build now that i think about it this is gonna take way more work than i thought it would be i just need to get like the general outline and then i can then i can start building it up really all right in a quick update i have the first complete little outline of what the shape is gonna be like i said it it's, I don't want it to be like perfectly circular. I actually think it kind of looks cool when it's like a little bit like staggered and stuff like that. However, this actually did take a lot less glass than I thought it was going to take, which is kind of surprising. I mean, either way, I'm still probably going to need a whole lot more sand because I have to build this all the way up and then I have to build a whole nother wall all the way around it. <laughs> Can I stare at an Enderman through a window? Oh, I can't. I didn't know that. The more you know. And I'm sure there's probably a lot of people also wondering, Paul, are you so dumb? Why do you want to build a giant fish tank inside the end? All I got to say is, well, because I want to, of course. <laughs> and this is OP Minecraft. It's basically what this world is. We're here to flex and just do stupid stuff. So here we go. I got to build another circle all the way around this entire thing yet again. 2,000 years later. All right, and now we've completely gone around the entire thing yet again. But now it is time to build the archway. Can you, oh my gosh, Endermen are the most annoying mob in all of Minecraft. There's no, you can't change my mind. They're actually so annoying. So now all I really have to do is, I guess I don't need this block or these blocks. This archway is starting to be shaped kind of funny, actually, because then this archway will have some 
fish and like you know stuff like that going over it it'll look good it'll look good trust me i know it i know what i'm doing now that we have the outline for the entire fish tank all that i was gonna have to do left is first of all go to the nether because my shovel's hurting and i'm gonna have to heal up all my tools now after that i was gonna have to go shovel up tons of more sand because i'm anticipating to need a lot more glass than what i have currently and lastly before heading back into the end i'm gonna need a whole lot of coal because unfortunately i've gone through my entire stockpile now that that's out of the way it's time to begin the final stages of the fish tank all right and now that we have a ton of glass and i do mean i, I do mean a lot I have, I have a ton in my inventory and we're still cooking up a whole lot i want to build up all these walls around the entire thing and i don't want it to be entirely even i kind of want the top to be a little bit rocky or actually maybe i make it even actually you know what i have i have some design ideas now so now i gotta go around the entire thing just literally building up the walls you now one thing i'm realizing while building this up is uh what happens if an enderman grabs the uh glass because they pick up blocks because they're absolute thieves what happens if they grab the glass while it's full of water and stuff it's just gonna like literally spring a leak and then all of a sudden start spewing water everywhere wow all my axolotls get out oh my god that actually sounds like a nightmare endermen are literally here to just cause problems that's literally all they are all right and i've officially gone around the entire thing once so far on just the inside and honestly I, i'm using a lot less the last night i thought i would i might make the wall a little bit taller i'm kind of unsure if i want to i don't know what happened right here it looks a little uneven but i might make the wall a little bit taller i don't know we'll see how it goes when we go on the other side because the other side's a lot lower i think it's because the center part rises so it makes the walls look shorter it's like i'm standing right here and it looks kind of short but then when you go up to it you're going down a couple blocks and then it's kind of tall but either way it's now time to do the outside part of the wall and with the power of movie magic wow there it is guys uh completely built up wall with movie magic of course and lots of oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> and lots of placing blocks that is so now that we have the entire thing built up so pretty much all i gotta do left is fill it with water and begin decorating it because i obviously gotta decorate it right i mean my pretty little axolotls are gonna want it to look nice in there and yeah after seeing it like from the outside the outside makes it look so much bigger it being like much lower so i'm just gonna leave it at this height i feel like this height is good and then once i add decorations i feel like it's gonna look just insane guys make sure you drop a like for the donut first of all i love donuts and also i definitely went a bit overkill on the sand because i do have a, i do have a decent bit left over however it is time to go get some decorations and then we'll come back and completely redo the entire thing and make it look beautiful also guys comment down below what should i do in the middle of this i've always wanted to completely redecorate the entire end and i feel like this fish tank is kind of like the stepping stone to me doing that what should i put in the middle of this entire thing do i just make this uh, this whole thing just an ocean god don't say yes to that suggest something else guys please. we'll be back all right and after going for a quick little gathering spree i believe i have everything that i'm going to need for basically this entire thing and firstly make a quick little uh infinite water pool here i made sure i gathered tons of like coral and other you know pretty blocks stuff like that um and i, I figured you know what since i have so much sand i might actually be able to use the sand to my advantage to kind of like line the entire thing maybe once i add water on the inside i mean like that that's not really gonna matter matter you know so i'm not really too worried about adding sand to the inside of it but i might add a bunch of sand around it let's sample a little area here my only fear is that yeah it doesn't really look that good the sand and the end stone doesn't doesn't look the best together and then in the parts that have like shorter all right look here guy i need you to literally move are you sampling a tiny area here i mean i think it looks pretty good it's just i think it's gonna block the inside though I, besides i think the accents i'm gonna add to the top are gonna make it look good my man's already robbed a piece of sand I I cannot believe this. I, I hate Enderman. All right, real quick. I'm going to clear out some inventory space here because I'm going to get a whole lot of water. Oh, and I got, I gathered water a little too fast. I hate. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've personally never done this before. I'm pretty sure when you add a bunch of water and if you place it along a certain section, then you get your kelp and you place the kelp all the way up like this. It essentially spreads out the water like crazy fast, right? It makes it so you don't have to place nearly as many source blocks because kelp makes it a source block. So here, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this already looks so much cooler. When the glass is filled with water, it looks dramatically different than what it did at the start. All right, I'm vibing so far. Okay, I'm starting to figure out how this works exactly. It's like I have to place it up along the 
second water block, not the source block, I think. And then it spreads to the other side, creating a new source block, essentially. So if that's the case, honestly, it's probably just gonna be a whole lot easier if I just line one entire wall all the way around. So real quick, I'm just gonna do that, I guess. That might be the easiest thing to do. Is this entire area turned into a source block, which is fine. Plenty of water buckets. All right, and I've officially and finally completed the giant fish tank. I, I oh my gosh, the, it, this was hours of spreading water and placing down kelp. I went back to the overworld to get more, came back in, started using kelp literally everywhere. And then the, I like these like cascading little waterfall sections. These look really nice. They're very pretty. They're very relaxing to look at when you're stressed out about spreading water. Either way, guys, it's officially time to start the decorating process. The the final le pizza resistance. You know what I'm saying? And I do really like the way that kelp looks inside of this. When you stack it all up and everything, I think through the glass, I think it, ow, I think it looks amazing. Yeah, I know. I just broke my knee. All right, guy, relax. I want to place down basically a ton of spruce slabs on top of the glass. I think this will look pretty cool because I need to be able to trap in all the axolotls anyways. Like I can't let them get out. So by placing all these slabs around the entirety of this thing, I might need a, eh, that looks all right. Not only is it going to be decorations however it'll also be effective for keeping the axolotls in i think it looks kind of good actually i'm kind of vibing now i just need to make a bajillion slabs real quick out of spruce because spruce is tasty and go around this thing about another million times All right, now that that's out of the way, we got to decorate it with some more pretty things. That'll give it a giant pop of color, especially being out here in the end where there is literally no color. First, I wanted to add some like leaves to the decor here. I'll place a bunch up and around here. All right, and I feel like that's already given it a huge pop of color. Oh my God, it's happening again. These stupid Endermen. As I was saying, now it's time to add some lights, obviously. I got a ton of sea pickles. Literally just gonna slap these things everywhere I can. Just gotta swim right through here. Placing these everywhere. And then of course, we gotta hit it with some coral. Pretty much just gonna slap this stuff all over the place. I feel like pink, the pink just looks so good. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's my channel colors or anything. I can already imagine how delicious this is already starting to look. And some of these color combos, man, just the underwater stuff is so beautiful. People wonder why I did the ocean only world. This is exactly why it's just so elegant, beautiful. It's time for the reveal and also to be able to put my axolotls finally inside the tank. But look at this thing. Look at how gorgeous this is. I love all the different colors colors that it actually sticks out in it. It actually brings a lot of life into the end. The end is just so dry and nasty. And when you see color in it, you really realize how dry and nasty this end is. Like I said, I actually want to do more transformations in here. So definitely comment down below if you guys have any ideas of what you would want to see basically inside the center of the giant circle. I think that could be really cool. All right, but it's finally time though to put my axolotls in here. We got lapis le fishy. We got goldfish. I'm going to put these two other axolotls in here. The little baby one and the other fully grown one. And now they finally have a full place to swim. <laughs> I think the only thing though is I don't think fish will spawn here because the end, right? So they won't really have anything to attack like ever. Maybe they can stare at Enderman. Where'd they go? They're already gone. Okay, I was like, they already leave me. Look at them. They love this place. Now you guys might be wondering, Lapis Le Fishy, well, I have to keep him because you guys are going to name him. Yeah, guys, comment down below. How did my giant <laughs> end fish tank turn out? Because I think it, I think this thing looks amazing. It goes all the way around, color all throughout, beautiful coral everywhere. I'm going to start breeding these axolotls also so then we can now start having a giant pool of just blue axolotls in here. But either way, comment down below. Let me know. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the like button. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Join the Paul GG army. Most of these videos are popping up on screen. Go check them out. If you guys have not already. Now we'll see you guys in the next one.